everybody. I'm Nicole from PETA2, and I'm here with Alex. Hi. <laughs> so what is new with you and Say Anything? Um, a lot. I have to say that like bass is like my favorite instrument, but you know those people like the critics out there, they're like, oh, it's just bass. Did you ever hear that? Yeah. I hear people say that. What do you have to say to like those fuckers that say, oh, it's just bass? Uh, well, they're fuckers, first <laughs> off. I'm much happier that I play bass because it's... Like it has a lot more, I don't know, soul, and you're like, keep it, you're like part of the backbone, part of the spine of the band that you have to kind of lock in with the drummer. You know, it's it's not like it's always on the background, but it sort of is, and you kind of just get to chill, per se, and just kind of flow with it. Do you have any companion animals? I have a dachshund. His name's Harvey. Do you have any cute, funny stories about Harvey? There's so many. I'm just trying to think of one that would like stand out well. He's always cute and funny. He's Harvey. Aww, Harvey. Hi, Harvey. So what do you think about people that keep their dogs chained up like outside 24-7? Uh, that's quite horrible, honestly. Um, it's hard because it's nice for people to give a home to an animal because there is so much overpopulation, but at the same time, I definitely think leaving it chained up all day is just nasty, to be honest. But um, I don't know. I'm a big supporter of doggy doors, and we just built a fence on the side of my house to put a doggy door in for Harvey. And uh, I don't know. Chaining a dog up is nasty. So what do you think about dog fighting? Like the Michael Vick case brought light to, you know, a whole issue that so many people didn't think existed. So. I, uh as much as an activist that I like to be, a lot of times I like to pretend that I don't know things because it kind of upsets me and I can get emotional about it. Like, I didn't really follow the dogfighting case because it's just fucking disgusting. You know what I mean? That's just... It's gross. One good thing that came out of it is that, you know, it made people aware that it exists. Yeah. Because so many people don't think, you know, dogfighting, that doesn't happen anymore, but now yeah. they know that it does. Yeah, exactly. And someone with so much power and money can just all of a sudden be fighting, having so many dogs fight, it's just, it's, I guess it's also, it's, you know, it's a learning experience, as uh, disgusting as it was. What do you think about fur? People that wear fur? Um, I don't think that it's a good idea, you know? Would you ever wear fur? I would never wear fur. Is there any other animal rights issue that you feel strongly about? Testing on animals. I won't buy products that have been tested on animals. I feel strong about that. It's just... How can that be right, literally, you know? Putting shampoo in your eyes is bad, so why do you need to do it? And why would you not just tell, it's not going to be detrimental to a human, like what's it going to do? So, why do you think it's important for people to, like, speak up about something they believe in? Uh, awareness. Websites that are informative about animal rights or anything, really, is, uh, are definitely a good thing, you know? So do you have any advice for kids out there who, oh, say, want to learn more about animal rights, but they don't know where to go? PETA2.com. H-T-T-P. www.peta2.com. To learn more about how you can help animals? Go to PETA2.com. Nice job. Thanks, Alec. Thank you very much. It was fun. Thank you. <laughs> Are we, was that going on time? Yeah, perfect. Okay. Actually, oh, good, absolutely good, good. perfect. It's the next song. Yeah, it is.